New tonight, the founder of a Philadelphia skateboarding club is accused of preying on some of the boys he promised to help. Police are trying to figure out if there are any other possible victims. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is at police headquarters tonight. Kimberly? Yuki, the rapes happened years ago, but the victims were only 11 or 12 at the time. Now the district attorney of Philadelphia is hoping that the arrest of Rodney Watkins encourages any other victims to come forward. This is where Rodney Watkins, the founder of Powerful Nilia Skateboarding Club, was known to hang out. But the 52-year-old now faces a slew of charges for the rape and sexual assault of minors. We stopped by the home of Watkins, but our knocks went unanswered. According to the district attorney's office of Philadelphia, the alleged incidents happened around 2011 and 2012. The victims only 11 or 12 at the time. Wednesday, police commissioner Danielle Outlaw released a statement reading in part, if you are a survivor of assault by this individual, or if you have information about someone who was, we are asking that you consider reaching out to our special victims unit. Our detectives will work diligently to ensure that you are given a voice and a chance for justice. According to police, Watkins was known to frequent Pop Skate Park at Trenton and Hazard Streets, Whitehall Skate Park at Torsdale Avenue and Wakeland Street, and Payne's Park near the Art Museum. We're told the assault allegedly happened at Watkins' home during sleepovers and in a hotel room during an out-of-state trip. Watkins is set to go before a judge on January 26th. In the meantime, he has been ordered to stay away from minors and skate parks. We're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you for that.